three important library python is not only used by data scientists it has a very wide range of usage these are all the big companies using python i'll show three sample programs and compare it with python please click on subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell symbol to get notified about new videos thank you hello everyone welcome to vino thratinam tutorials in this video we are going to discuss about introduction to python and the syllabus which we are planned to cover for data science machine learning and deep learning let us give a quick glance on the syllabus which we divided into eight section first we will start with the programming basics which includes installation steps and how to handle the operators variables and data types then next how to implement looping statements like if else while for loops in our coding logic to make the programming easy after that important topic data structures which consist of list tuples dictionary and strings which is widely used in data science especially while designing the algorithm followed by how to create the functions then how to use the inbuilt and user defined functions modules and packages then comes the advanced topics like handling files and exception finally three important library the first one is numpy which supports for large and multi dimensional arrays and matrices along with a large collection of high level mathematical functions to operate on these arrays then second one is matplotlib which is used for plotting the graphs charts and histogram then pandas which we use it for data manipulation and analysis conclusion for this syllabus is it is designed in such a way that the complexity will increase level by level only scope of python in case if you are not an ai aspirant no worries python is not only used by data scientists it has a very wide range of usage first one the python with django or pyramid framework can be used for web development then chatbots which is one of the most trending technology which we can develop using nltk library then if you are a game lover we can develop games also with the help of cosas2 library in case if you are a functional tester want to switch over to the automation side you can automate selenium using python which is easier when compared to java in addition to that we can also use the robot framework which is one of the most framework used in automation and of course we can develop desktop applications using kiwi live these are all just important technology in addition to that iot networking ethical hacking like that we have enormous amount of technology which uses python we have two conclusion from this slide first one now you understood the reason why we are choosing python instead of r language with python knowledge we can explore in many technologies whereas r language used only for data scientist and the second one is till the session 5 that is handling files and exception the syllabus is common for all the technology after learning the python basics based on your interest you can decide your career path only difference is library will change if you think i am giving over build up just see here these are all the big companies using python like nasa google facebook netflix cora all the big tech giants are using python only now you can understand how important this language is how easy to learn python if you know simple english language then anyone can do coding in the python that much easy it is second point is the most favorite for many no need of programming background with blind mind we can start python it's not like we must know c language in order to learn java like that no prerequisite needed for python other than english language and the third one it is the simplest programming language when compared to all other programming language i'll show three sample programs and compare it with python then you will understand how easy the python is the first program very famous program print hello world we are comparing this program with java language in order to print just hello world see how many lines of code needed in java and also each keyword is having a depth meaning like public is a modifier concept then static method concept then void means it doesn't return any values and so on now we will see the same program in python for the same program in python we use print then you have to give the output message either with single quote or double quote hello 
world just run it we got the output message see how easy in python the good thing is we no need to worry about semicolons at the end of each line which we do it in the java and second program swap two numbers using c language here we have to include the studio dot edge then declare the variables with data types then we have to get the user input after that we have to implement the coding logic like temp is equal to a a equal to b then b is equal to temp and finally displaying the output now we will see the same program in python i'm just commenting this same program i am giving input directly six comma same example we are declaring the value and the best part is there is no need to mention the data types like int or float now i am going to write the coding logic for this a comma b equal to b comma a that's it this is the coding logic straightforward and finally we have to print the output a comma b we'll run and see see the value of a here is 13 and the value of b here is 6 that's it just three line of code now the third program little bit complicated program we have to find how many times the word python is displayed or occurred in this paragraph and this program we are comparing with the vb script the coding logic is we are reading the string then using the split function splitting with the help of python word and all these values will be stored to an array like array means you have 0 1 2 3 in this case temp 0 temp 1 temp 2 after that finding the total count then printing how many times it is displayed that is the coding logic you can see the execution logic when it split with python temp 0 will be welcome to temp 1 will be tutorials and so on and finally using the u bone i am trying to find the total count the value is 6 if you count and see 6 times the word python is displayed we will see the same program in python i am giving the string value string value this paragraph after this print str dot count python we will run and see we got the output 6 that's it just one line of code which resolved the complicated program after seeing these three programs i'm sure you got some confident about python language that's about the introduction in the next video we'll see the definition and installation steps kindly share this video to your friends that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please mail me or you can directly ping me to my linkedin id thanks for watching happy